Purple Eagles win the draw, and it's wristed into traffic, picked up, and Niagara scores. The initial shot came from Jordan Wishman, and a bad bounce for the Pioneers as it rolls to Dylan Mills, who puts home goal number two on the season. A simple wrist shot into traffic. And with bodies in front, Mills has it find him. The sophomore from Cottage Grove, Minnesota, buries his eighth career goal. Accepted by Jack Billings, who leads to a rush the other way. Soke in, and now the pass comes, and Eric Cooley scores. He goes far down on the wrist shot. It's in Niagara has stunned Sacred Heart here in the first with two goals and lead it two to nothing. Eric Cooley with his sixth of the season. Moving it up to Billings. Billings the drop pass, Soke's in. Down the wing, Ben Soke behind the net. Soke moves it over Brandt, the wrist shot, he scores! To the top corner and Benson had lost the stick. With 16 seconds to go in the period, Brandt lifts one inside the elbow. What a shot. And again, it did not help the Pioneers' cause that their goaltender didn't have his stick. Trying to get on the board. Mike Lee knocked that down, but now a breakaway toward the empty net for John Hill, and he scores. John Hill buries the empty netter. After Sacred Heart, or a day after Ni Sacred Heart shut Niagara out 6-0. The Purple Eagles have almost mirrored the effort up 5-0 or 6th, maybe 5th place. There's a penalty here against Sacred Heart. Wasaki gets two for high sticking and the pass comes across. Nick Mucci scores and it is 6-0 Purple Eagles. So a day after Sacred Heart shut out Niagara 6-0, Niagara reverses the fortunes today against the Sacred Heart Pioneers. A power play goal for Mucci, number one on the season for the junior. Play two games at Army West Point next weekend, and they close out with AIC in first place to close out the regular season. Then, of course, the playoffs. Austin McElmurray goes after, and you never see this.